And I'm Kate. Welcome back to Ingleside News Network. On May 5th, there's going to be a red carpet movie premiere right here at IMS. The premiere will feature, feature short films from 10 Ingleside students in INN. Some short film topics include an Irish immigrant, online catfishing, bullying, and more. Don't forget. Cool. We're here live with Peyton. Did you hear about the academic bowl tryout yesterday? Yes. Why didn't you go? Because I'm not the greatest at trivia, and I didn't really know what the questions would be on. Do you think you should try? I really don't know. Okay. I'm not the best at trivia. Thank you. Hey, did you hear about the academic bowl tryout yesterday? Yeah. Why do you go? Because I'm not really good with trivia. Like, I'm not really good with answering questions and big people and, like, big crowds. I, like, freeze up and space out. I'm not really well with stuff like that. Hey, guys. It's not too late to try out for the academic bowl. Give it your best shot. Academic bowl tryouts. And she's going to be competing in the academic bowl this year. Remember, if you want to try out, if you're in sixth grade, the tryouts are April 30th. Seventh grade is May 1st, and eighth grade is on May 7th. The first time, the times are 2:30, 2:30 till 4, in room 113, and also seventh grade is doing mock trials. So going. Are you a sixth grader who wants to be in the mock trials? You may get a chance to watch it so you can be in it next year. It's basically a fake trial to give students a chance to experience in a court case. In other news, kids and students are now using e-cigarettes to smoke drugs. So please stay safe and don't smoke or vape. Yeah guys, stay away from that stuff. Anyway, let's go to sports. <laughs> Siders, it's me Elijah today with your sports. And sad news, an NFL rookie, Corey Baltini, was shot along with Dwayne Simmons, who tragically died. Corey is expected to make a full recovery. The NFL the, uh, uh, the NBA playoffs round two have started, and the Celtics and Warriors already won their first games. The NFL draft has almost finished, and the Arizona Cardinals drafted Kyler Murray with the first pick. I personally thought that they should have drafted Nick Bosa. Everyone put your hands up if you think that they should. Anyway, there's your sports for today. Back to your anchors. Thanks, Elijah. Did you know that there is going to be an IMS dance on May 3rd? Only $5 to attend, and you must be in semi-formal clothes. If you are going to be the first 30 to arrive, you get a free IMS swag bag, and everyone gets Lolo's chicken and waffles and free spot print out photos on our red carpet. Be there. So who is sponsoring the book fair? So the book fair is being run through the library and through National Junior Honor Society. So Ms. Kreisman and all of her fabulous students. Um, so what is the book fair? So the book fair this year is put on, sponsored by a company called Phoenix Book Company. So it's not scholastic, it's a little bit different. The main focus is on the books. So we have hundreds of books to choose from. The prices start at a dollar and go up to, I think the most expensive book we've got out there is $10. And um, a great variety for kids to choose from. We've got every genre out there and a table of activity books which have been really popular. We've got some cooking books that have been popular as well. And then a few items at the check stand. You can get pencils, erasers, um, magnets and pens and of course bookmarks for your books. When would be the best time to come in? So every single student at Ingleside is scheduled to come with their language arts teacher. So everyone gets a chance to come look at the books and um, preview. And then you're welcome to shop during that time or you also are invited to come back before school, after school, and both lunches were open today, tomorrow, and Thursday. So three days of book shopping. So why is the book fair being run? Well, we're doing it at the end of the year because we really want to promote reading, especially summer reading. So we're hoping that this will encourage kids to pick up a brand new book and buy it and then take it home and read it over the summer. It's also a fundraiser for Ingleside. The proceeds, 20% of everything we sell goes back to National Junior Honor Society and the library for more books. Thank you. Thank you. And come to the book fair. Okay. Um, the book fair, it's a really nice place. We've got a lot of stuff here. We've got invisible pen. Really good books over there. Recommend the books the most. Don't buy the invisible pen. It's dumb. Invis um, invisible books. No, actual books. Get those books. They're good. Books. 
While Ingleside and other local news, ambassador applications and NJHS applications are due. You may only apply to NJHS if you received an invitation to it. Good luck to everyone who applied. Also, the ABC Countdown is in full swing. Dress up, you guys. The ABC Countdown is a super fun event. Look to your flyers for what the days are. If you lost yours, ask your period one teacher or look in the posters in the hallways. Posters in the hallways. <laughs> Toodles, Ingleside. <laughs>